Libras, what's going on, my loves? I'm sending you all love and light. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, or subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or have donated to my page, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Okay. Um, this is an extension of the short that I did. Um, so if you guys haven't watched that, I'm going to link it to this reading. Um, basically, the energy that um, I saw was that you were attached to someone else or someone feels that you could be a, 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 an immense soul connection for them. Someone that um, they have an intense bond with. Okay. Now, the energy that came through was one person was feeling like the other person was slowly but surely um, going their own direction, may have been cutting themselves off, may have been isolating themselves. Um, the energy that's coming through is if like two people are married or if they're in a relationship and one comes home, the other one's already home, you know, Two, two people are doing their own thing. You know, you're not, you know, cuddling. You're not spending time together. You're not watching movies. One person is going to one place in the house. The other person is going to another place, right? And with that energy, it was like one person was saying, you know what? This person hasn't been having sex with me, so they must be doing something with somebody else, right? So since I feel like this person... <laughs> may be doing something with somebody else. I'm going to go on out here and I'm going to do something with somebody else, you know, because if they're going to get it in with somebody, I'm going to get it in with somebody. This is the energy that was coming through. Um, somebody here may have had a connection or a hookup with a person that they have a child with, whether they're masculine or feminine. They could have just said, you know, um, you know, I don't have feelings for this person. I'm not with this person. I'm not trying to be with this person. Um, but we just co-parent. It is what it is. You know, this is what was, was um, you know, agreed upon, you know, in the relationship. Okay, I understand that you, you have a child with X, Y, and Z, and you're going to be doing X, Y, and Z. Um, but someone here took it a step further, okay? Um, because of this energy that I saw, you know, um, someone's going to be feeling some sort of way because yeah, the person that they thought had cheated in the first place had not done anything, right? They hadn't done that. Um, they were just isolating themselves and they, this was going through whatever burdens they were going through here. Um, alone, Ten of Wands energy. Someone could have Sagittarius in their chart, right? So someone felt like they had a lot going on. They they were overburdened. They had too many responsibilities. And it could be that they felt that their partner, the person that they were in a relationship with, the person that's supposed to take the stress away, the person that's supposed to be, you know, working with them side by side, 50-50, was not doing their part. And instead of this person starting a fight or starting an argument, you know, they just shouldered that, just swallowed it all and just did what they needed to do. Coming home tired, not wanting to be bothered, could have been very agitated, irritated, whatever it could have been, okay? Someone could have looked at that situation and said, you know what, I see, I've seen this before. I've seen this in previous relationships before. I've seen that when people start acting like this or they cut themselves off or they're not treating me the way that they normally would treat me um, in previous relationships, this was somebody that was moving suspect. This is somebody that was seeing other people behind my back. So I see what I'm seeing and I understand what I'm seeing and I'm going to decipher this using my discernment and believe that my person is now seeing someone else. So that gives me the red flag to go out and do what I want to do. No conversation was had between these two people. You know, there was nothing that was talked about, right? No one said, hey, this is the way I'm feeling. You know, what's going on with you? I'm feeling this way. I'm feeling like two people are now um, going through a lot of burdens because, yeah, one person 
cheated because they thought the other person cheated. Okay, so let's look into this. Now, someone's going to walk away from this because the burden is going to be so heavy of knowing that a person cheated. Someone's not going to be able to hold this energy. This is an emotional decision someone's going to make. They're going to turn away because they're like, you know what? Bad just went to shit because you didn't trust me or because you didn't trust the situation or because you felt like you just wanted to abandon me or you just wanted to do what you wanted to do without looking into something deeper. You, you didn't think enough of me to look deeper or to have that hard conversation that we possibly needed to have, right? So now someone's going to be walking away. They're going to be walking towards their happiness or what they feel would make them happy. Leaving burdens, okay? Eight of Cups energy is Pisces energy, by the way. Leaving burdens, this is Sagittarius energy, right? I'm, I've been here. I've been working my fingers to the bone. I've been doing everything I need to do. I've been holding all the weight on my shoulders. I feel like from the start of this relationship to now, I've been the one that has been holding everyone up. I've been the one that's been consistent. I'm tired, someone is saying here. I'm tired. I'm burnt out. My energy is low. My energy is always low, right? So maybe when I come home, I don't feel like interacting. Maybe when I come home, I don't feel like having a conversation. Because when I look at you, I feel like you're someone that's not participating in this relationship the way that you could be you could be assisting me more and if it's one thing when it comes to income like yeah I make my income but you can also do better you can look for ways to to kick in to to elevate me a bit and I feel like someone is feeling like you know it's time to walk away because this person that I'm with, they have not been investing in this relationship the way that I have. And I feel like my life at this point, you know, it's just been working home, working home and nothing good. When I look at this person that I'm with, Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. When I look at this person, I'm very nostalgic. We've had many, many good times. Right. I've shared a lot with this person. Right. We've created a family. Um, if you do have children with this person, whoever I'm speaking to, if there's children involved, you may have known this person since your childhood. You may have known this person that you're with for quite some time. All right. But how did we get here? This is not what I signed on for it to be. This is not what I felt this relationship would be. And I'm the only one. That's feeling like I'm trapped, like I'm stuck, like I can't make moves. I got to get out of here. Someone's feeling suffocated here. Okay. So, yeah, they were, they were shutting down their energy. They weren't talking. They weren't expressing themselves. They weren't having that hard conversation. But someone took this energy the wrong way here. And someone looked at this energy and said, okay, well, you cheating, so I'm going to cheat. And now there's no turning back from this. So let's clarify. Eight of Cups energy, please. What is it? Yep. Someone is now walking away to what they feel their Ten of Cups will be. Coming out of these burdens, coming out of this time where they felt like they weren't appreciated or the things that they were doing were not reciprocated. They're going towards their happiness now. Ten of Cups energy is one that's saying, hey, that's also Pisces. Someone could be dealing with the Pisces. I have Pisces in their chart, right? I need emotional security now. I need to be happy now. I need to know what a real partnership looks like. I want to experience a real relationship where someone actually shows up and meets me halfway. That's what I find as my happiness. And this is what I'm going to pursue. No longer having to sit in the burdens that I've been dealing with. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay? Someone's going to be feeling like this. Right? Someone said no more. Okay? You're going from the, the Ten of Wands, which is burdens and hardships, 
to a Knight of Swords energy. Okay. This is air sign, a Taurus. Right? Big changes in your life. Right? Being a little bit rebellious because I feel like someone can't move right now. I feel like they're going to be a little bit petty in the household for a while because they're going to know that their person cheated on them and, you know, no holds barred. So in other words, I don't care what you know that I'm doing or not. I'm, I'm not going to shield your feelings anymore. I'm going to do me. Okay. This is a person that's saying, you know what, since you seized an opportunity, I'm going to seize an opportunity. I'm going to do what I feel I need to do for myself right now. And yeah, this is a bit impulsive because someone is doing it out of hurt. They're going against everything that they believe in because this energy that's coming through for me is one of a person that is very loyal most times. But someone feels like their loyalty was taken for granted and their loyalty was not honored because someone did some shit behind their back. This is what's coming through for me. Yeah, I love you. We've been rocking for a long time or we've known each other for a long time. That's why, you know, I don't know why we didn't have a conversation first. That's why I don't understand why you didn't come to me if you felt that I was doing something behind your back. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All these cards just fell out. Right? Yeah. Okay. This person. We got four swords energy here. They're going to go into like a rest and recuperation type of energy, right? Libra, you're here. This is your energy, right? I'm going to do what I can do to, to, to stop the hurt and stop the pain. If that means I got to go out and I got to hook up with somebody else or, you know, I got to sit myself down and be quiet for a while. I need to isolate myself, right? I don't want to talk to you. I don't have nothing to say. Now I don't want to talk to you because when we could have talked, you didn't want to talk or you didn't try to talk, right? So now I'm going to isolate myself. I'm going to voluntarily withdraw my energy from you too. And I'm going to have faith that I could walk towards some, some sort of happiness with this chariot card energy. Maybe going towards a cancer or have cancer in their chart. Okay, someone could be dealing with a cancer here as well. The chariot energy is saying, hey, I'm going to drop these burdens and these obstacles that you've placed in my life or that you didn't help me pick up or get rid of. And I'm going to go a different direction. Uh, I'm going to choose myself, be determined to do the things that I need to do for me, whether you understand it or not. This is where I'm going. I'm tired of fighting a losing battle here. Okay, I'm going to have my death and rebirth, right? Scorpio energy. I'm going to mourn this relationship, mourn my time with you, and I'm going to keep it moving because I know that there's brighter days for me somewhere else doing something else. Okay, right? I know that cancer energy, that somebody can love me the way I need to be loved and give me the emotional stability and that emotional intensity that I deserve. Yes? And this is going to be me ending this cycle with you. All right. I understand now why I had to be in it. I understand that I needed to choose myself. And I understand now why, okay, it's best for me to step off right now. I may have been trying to be with you and just kept trying to make this work and just been eating my words and not saying what I needed to say. But now I understand that it's time for this cycle to end and I'm going forward for myself this is the energy that's coming through libras all right so this is what what i got for you guys um yeah this is kind of intense i'm sending you all love and light if anyone needs me the information is in the box below my loves take care